Hi everybody, I am That Nursing Prof and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the PTT test. So let's get into it. The first thing I want to talk about is, well, what does that stand for? PTT is the partial thromboplastin time. Now, one thing I do want to point out, sometimes you will see the PTT and sometimes you will see the APTT. And I just wanted to say why those are different. So the APTT, they have added an activator to it. This helps speed up the clotting time. And then the results will therefore have a narrow reference range. So your patient might get the APTT, they might get the PTT, just so you know. They're both looking for the same thing. The purpose is to screen for clotting factor deficiencies in the intrinsic pathway or to monitor heparin therapy. So if your patient is on heparin, they're probably going to get a PTT or an APTT done. The normal range, so somebody who's not on heparin therapy, will be 21 to 35 seconds. If they are on heparin therapy, it's going to be two to two and a half times this, okay? So it's going to be much longer. Our patients might have increased levels if, of course, they're on heparin therapy. That makes sense, right? But also, if they're in DIC, they have cirrhosis of the liver, they have hemophilia A, or some sort of vitamin K deficiency. Some reasons they could have decreased levels would be because they're in the early stages of DIC, or they have certain types of cancer. And then the last thing I wanted to point out, there are some common meds that we give that could alter these results, so we want to keep an eye on that. These include anticoagulants, antihistamines, absorbic acid, which is basically just vitamin C. So maybe they're taking a supplement or maybe they have a lot of that in their diet. And then salicylates, a common one is like aspirin. It's in a lot of pain medications. So if they're on an aspirin regimen or if they take you know, pain medication every day, we wanna check this out because it could alter these test results. So that was a quick little one, just a review of the PTT test. I hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And if not, I'll see you on the next one.